So I'm guessing you might know this, but starting a nonprofit can be hard. And I'm not even really talking about all the paperwork or the filing process. That stuff can be complicated, yes, but the real work comes after that. I'm talking about stuff like leading your board and your volunteers and your supporters to support the mission and create positive, meaningful change in your community. I'm talking about raising all the money and getting all the resources that you need in order to be able to do that. And I'm talking about sticking to it when obstacles come along and make it harder. I have been there. As a nonprofit founder and executive director, I have faced countless setbacks, numerous failures, and days when I just wondered if I should give up on the whole endeavor. But I'm so glad I did not. I am so proud of the work that we've been able to accomplish despite of those setbacks. So in this video, I want to share a little bit of encouragement to my fellow nonprofit founders and leaders out there, as well as a few tips and strategies for how to stay motivated when it gets rough. If we haven't met before, my name is Amber Melanie Smith, and I am a nonprofit founder, if you hadn't guessed from my other intro there, an executive director and uh, someone who makes these videos here on YouTube to help other folks starting a nonprofit on their social impact journeys, folks who just wanna make a difference in the world and need a little help figuring out how. Check out my website, Founder to Full Time, for some resources and help if you are on a nonprofit journey yourself. And don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Funding shortages, application rejections, board members or volunteers quitting, the public just not getting what you do. There are many, many obstacles that could and do get in the way when you're trying to start or grow a nonprofit organization. But as a nonprofit leader, I know that you are dedicated to your cause and your mission and to pushing through the hard times. So here are seven of my strategies and tips for how to stay motivated when you're trying to start or grow a nonprofit organization. Strategy number one is to analyze and make a plan. When things aren't quite going how I want them to, it helps me sometimes to take a step back, gather data and feedback from other people on what might be going wrong, analyze that feedback and data, and then make a step-by-step -step plan on how to fix it. I found that doing this helps me turn a setback into an opportunity to learn. And also that act of creating a plan helps me gain this sense of control over the ultimate outcome, which can be very, very motivating. Strategy number two is to engage with your community. Sometimes it really helps me to get away from the computer and my desk and to go out there and talk to our supporters, to the people we're serving, to my team members or to other partners of our organization. The reason this works is very simple and that's that talking to other people can encourage you and show you that you're not alone in this work. And if you're a nonprofit that provides direct services to people, going out and engaging with the very people you are trying to support and amplify the lives of can remind you why you're doing this work and help you stay motivated that way. Strategy number three is to take a deep breath and take something one small step at a time. Sometimes when I try to look at my very long to-do list, it can be very demotivating. So when I catch myself feeling that way, I just remind myself, hey, Amber, you don't have to do all of these things right now. You just have to focus on this one thing. So I make a plan to focus on that one thing, I shut off other distractions, I put my phone far away, and I put my head down and I work on that one thing, and then I feel accomplished. And then you end up getting a bunch of things on your to-do list done anyway, because once you accomplish that one small thing, you can move on to another small thing. Strategy number four is take a break. I know this one can seem a little counterintuitive, but when you're facing what seems like an insurmountable problem, it is very helpful to take a break instead of trying to push or power through the problem. This is one of my favorite tips because it's easy, it's fun, and it challenges us to think through the meaning and the power of rest and relaxation. And full disclaimer, I'm still working on this one myself. 
There is so much research out there and so many reports out there talking about the power of rest and play and sleep on productivity and creativity. And of course, rest and sleep and play are important and have value in their own right. But when we're talking about accomplishing the mission of our organizations and needing to get all these things done, these things can also play a role in that. A recent article in Harvard Med Medical School's journal even talked about how the brain is sort of designed to help you solve problems while you sleep. So some really great research out there talks about how um, you can study a problem or think about a problem right before bed, and then while you're sleeping, in theory, your brain will be helping you calculate how to fix it. So that's pretty awesome. Go take a nap. My fifth strategy slash tip for staying motivated is to take a moment to look at how far you've come. When you're focused on how much you still have to accomplish or how much change you have to create in the world in the future, and it feels like you've barely gotten anything done, it can be a bit demoralizing. But we know that it's not often true that we haven't accomplished much. I think we are hard on ourselves and we think that we've accomplished much less than we actually have. So sometimes when I wanna remember, I take a moment to take a trip down memory lane. I will look at old blog posts or journal entries or photographs and fondly remember that time we made a difference. It's important to take pride in all of your progress so far from where you began. Strategy number six is to celebrate small victories. Similar to taking pride in your past accomplishments, we can celebrate small victories in the present. This might sound a little cliche, but there are actual couple of practical ways you can exercise this tip or this strategy that I found at least personally to be very motivational. And those two things are post-it note successes and Friday fives. Now, a post-it note success board is when you write down an accomplishment, even a small one, and you put it up on a board above your computer or your desk. So you can look up and think, wow, I actually did accomplish quite a bit this week or this month or whatever your timeline is for your board. These can be things like a major success, like you got a major grant to support your work and fund your program. It can be small things, like you got an email from someone affected by your organization who just wanted to share that you made a difference for them. That's actually not a small thing, but you get the idea. Now, a Friday Five is when you share five positive things that happened that week with your team. Your team can be your board of directors, your staff, your core group of volunteers or volunteer leaders, but the idea is that you're helping people get a quick snapshot of some positivity that happened that week for the organization, some impacts that you made, some resources you were able to obtain, good things for the organization. You're sharing them with your team and and helping everyone stay motivated alongside you. Strategy number seven, the final one I'm gonna share tonight is to remember your why. When you're feeling down, when you're feeling demotivated, take a moment to just reflect on why you started a nonprofit or got involved in the cause that you're involved in in the first place. Some practical ways you can reflect on your why include having a meaningful discussion with your team about the cause that you are working to support. It can be private journaling for yourself, or it can be looking at some data or statistics about your cause to help you stay motivated, to help show you that the need is important and that you're doing good work to address it. So now I wanna hear from you. Are you in the process of starting a nonprofit organization? What are you struggling with right now? Or how are you staying motivated throughout the process? Share your thoughts with me and the community. Leave it in the comments below. If you need some additional help or resources on starting a nonprofit, check out my website. Once again, foundertofulltime.com. And also check out my group on Facebook called Change the World or Bust. Lots of folks starting nonprofits, creating a social impact, and encouraging each other along the way in that group. So I hope you can join us. I hope you found this video helpful and of course motivating. Um, please let me know, give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content on starting a nonprofit and creating a social impact. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.